Today's podcast is sponsored by Vehicle Score. If you haven't heard me talk about Vehicle Score before, it is the free car checking website where you can get a score on your car based on its age, MOT, history, mileage, and many other factors. All you have to do is head to vehiclescore.co.uk, enter your registration. I'm going to use the registration of a Vivaro van that I have, and we're going to check that and see how it scores. Ours is 804 out of 999, absolutely amazing. There is loads of information on here from the tax status, whether it's ULES compliant, whether it's currently got MOT, the vehicle performance, the insurance group. You can check out the MOT history, but most importantly, whether you're a dealer or you're just buying a car for yourself, you want to do a background check on that car and they can do them for as little as less than a coffee. £2.95 for the salvage report, £8.95 for the ultimate report, and 11.95 for the ultimate plus report which is the one that i highly recommend don't forget to use my code shifting metal 20 you'll get 20 percent off making that just nine pounds 58 and it will tell you an awful lot of things about that car that you're going to want to know before you hand over your hard-earned cash whether it's been an import and export whether it's been seen at a salvage auction whether it's got finance against it whether it's been an insurance right often it's got a category against it whether it's been an ex-taxi stolen scrapped color change whether it's been seen to be clocked and many, many other things. So if you are looking to spend your hard-earned cash, make sure you don't just buy it, vehicle score it. I have not had Auto Trader since 2017. Wow, okay. We made a huge jump when I started this new vent, well, I say new venture, I'm, we started here in 2017. I, I've been stitched up so many times by Auto Trader. I said, I'm gonna do something else with the money um but half of what the money that i was spending and i put it into facebook and we've got we've now got eighteen thousand followers and i get five times as much business that i ever got from facebook as what i did from water trader and I, mean, I mean that's amazing mate and you're clearly one of the people on these groups that you see online that say you've been auto trader off no one believes them which is great to see but was it did, how long did it take from binning them off to get into a sustainable point again? Sorry if I've interrupted that. It never dropped off. It it was it was an unbelievable change because seven thousand pounds a month, you've got to realistically sell five, seven cars in, in my little thing. I sold the same amount of cars plus one. I think I think I sold one more car. And I thought, no, that's weird. Maybe it's just a one-off. And then it carried on and it carried on and it carried on. And then I was like, oh, you know, you know, what, what am I going to do here? Don't get me wrong. I'm one of these people. I, I ring up all the other companies. So like when Ivendi's there, I, I get on with one of the ladies at Ivendi really well. And I ring and I always ring them up and go, right, whatever you've got that's new or you're beatering, give it to me. I want it. Even if it's, you think it's shit. I want to have a go. I want to be the first person to decide. So we did it with uh, with eBay when they first took over Gumtree and they did like the Star of the Week car. I was like, I want it. I'll have it for free for six months. You can look at all my data. I'll have that. And that, again, that worked. And that's how that came about. So I'm one of these people that rings me up and goes, give it to me first. Give it to me first. And then in the meantime, we started to ergonomically grow our Facebook um, and then that's now become an integral part of the business. So we spend about two thousand three hundred pound a month with Facebook instead of seven grand with Auto Trader. That's crazy. That's it's interesting. Nice. So right, I need to ask you all the questions now. Go on. What, what other ad advertising platforms do you use though? So are you uh, on eBay Motors Group? eBay Motors Group. Yeah. Okay. We we use. There's a lot of. Uh, I've got a couple of friends that don't use all the backroom stuff. So there's, um, if you get the backroom stuff right, like little tweaks to the adverts and stuff, that's where it works the stuff to the top. Um, I follow a lot of stuff online in America. So the Americans are about 12 months ahead of us with everything. They, they're sort of car dealer forum. They know what's going on over there. Same with, that's how I learn a lot of the Facebook stuff. I go on, see what they're doing in America because um, their algorithms are, like I said, you you know it's it's with YouTube as well. You know you know where the trends are, what's what's going on. They're the ones that have got control over it because that's basically where it's based. So we just try and follow it that way. So I've got eBay, Gumtree, uh, Car Gurus, 
uh, Facebook. Uh, free car gurus or their paid one. Free, free one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm with 67 degrees. Yeah. So, uh, I, I am now as well, actually. Yeah, I did spot that. I, I, uh, I spend a lot of time with, uh, Luke yeah. just sort of iron it up because they, they're part of my, uh, they're one of my partners for the race car as well. Yeah. And Octane Finance Probably. as well. They're one of my partners and we finance any car, which is actually also Octane. It's the same company. Um, well, there's different directors, but yeah, similar company. Um, and that's, you know, we, I like to do a lot of behind the scenes stuff, getting the wording right. So we don't actually write any descriptions on any cars anymore. Okay. Believe it or not. So I know it's, it goes against the grain for some people, but I don't write anything on the cars. I just write, we're Platinum Car Centre. This is what we do. And, and I put nine you photos. Up. You can give the information, sort of. Thing. Nine photos. Nine photos. Bloody hell! You literally are going against everything that you know. Everyone recommends, probably filtered down from Auto Trader, I have to say. But yeah, what, can I dive in here? Sorry, James. What's your average time to sell a car? Nine days. Oh. Right, I'm just looking at your website. Uh, not your website, sorry. I've looked at your website, but now I'm looking at your Facebook page. I followed you on Instagram for quite a while. So your posts that you would do, you literally are just putting the cars on there. You're doing like a little, you're putting your bullet points and stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, you would do oh. it how I would do it, to be honest. And if I am, if I, as and when I list cars myself, I would do like a sentence about the car. A lovely, like, for example, you got here, 2015 Citroen C4. I would put lovely 2015, you know, if it's got seven seats or whatever, like seven seats, great for the family, blah, blah, blah. And that would be it. I don't want to do any more description than that. Just bullet we'll put it in the bullet in the top right hand corner. That's what we do. So we'll put, um, but we hashtag it. So it's, um, so it links in with Google. So we'll put right. hashtag seven seater, hashtag okay. low insurance. Yeah. Then it pings up on all the meta tag adverts. Yeah. Um, and then as far as your advertising goes, what would you do? So you just promote those individual posts yep. for what, a week or something? Uh, currently, the current sweet spot is 11 days Okay. Uh, for a 90 kilometer radius. Mm. Um, so the difference between eBay and Autotrader and Facebook. So most people go on eBay now to look at a car or Autotrader or whatever, but they sometimes sort of bleed over. They bleed into each other anyway eBay, they're looking for the car. Facebook, they're not looking for the car. If you get the Facebook advertising right and it comes across the front of them, they're like, oh, my God, I didn't realise I could afford that. I didn't exactly, realise yeah. I like that And that color. has been my theory as well, that it's like with Auto Trader and eBay and car gurus and all the likes, you are targeting people who are actively looking for a car. But if you're advertising, because I've done it myself as well with like our raffle stuff and whatever else and cars, because I'm trying to, I've just knocked eBay on the head in favor of auto trader and our aa thingy and i was going to put again either the same or half the money like you have into instagram and facebook ads because i think it is you'll probably tell me you know it's, it's like a you've got to have a commitment to it you, it's not going to pay off that well if you're like one advert put it on oh it didn't sell in a month you know it's not really that's how it works it's like a compound interest keep going yeah, keep going. you get more followers and then with the facebook and instagram you're reaching people where they're just generally socially browsing and like you say something comes up and they're like oh i've always fancied one of those and they're only like you know 10 grand now god you know yeah well we do i, I buy like some quite vibrant color i buy cars that are quite cool like so i you know to some people obviously some people some they're not so you know like if a, a yellow cactus comes through they want like well, a 1.2 pure tech and it's like five and a half grand i'm like i knew when that was 20 when it was new and it was cool you know and i'm like you know da, 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 110 pound a month and like someone will see that and they'll be like yeah do you know what i want to pick my kids up from school next week in that car and i'm happy to pay 110 pound a month with a 199 pound deposit why the f not and the new systems with a 67 degree website they can have themselves approved for finance and paid out in 40 minutes yeah it's, you know it's, it's done that 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 car's done up the road we've prepped it it's gone so just to, I'll give you a, an insight on some of the figures that I've got here. I've got some of the Facebook ones. So last month alone, just the adverts, we had nine 
962,100 impressions on the car adverts just last month. How many adverts that thing? How many adverts is that one, James? Uh, that are live on average about nine, ten. Right. So, okay. A couple wow. thousand each then, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So don't get me yes. wrong. Obviously, like we do get a lot of messages that are like, "Where are you based? Where are you located?" Boring, 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 boring. But sometimes it's just a case of, you know, have you got a park exchange? Do you want to do finance? You know, and they're like, "Oh well, you know, I don't know if I could." I was like, and, and we we can give a little bit of advice, and they're talking to us then, like they just want to. Sometimes we I put less information so it encourages them to talk to us. Yeah. So we can tell them about the car. What service history has it got? I said, well, tell you what, it's been done there, 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 there. Where do you live? Well, I live in St. Austin. I was like, well, it was serviced three miles up the road. Why don't you go and see the garage up the road, mate? See if you like it. Yeah. You know, little stuff like that. And then it becomes a personal experience. And that's what I think we get a lot of from Facebook. Obviously, it works very well for James. I think it would work well for me as well. I feel like the person that the, um, like the meta advertising that James is talking about worked best for would be Rob with your stuff. Because obviously it works well with you on TikTok and things like that. Yeah, but well, it's a bit like... different, isn't it? And it's, yeah, I get that. I'm really, really interested to hear more about this, James. Because that, yeah. And funnily enough, I, I was going to bring it, when you mentioned that you come off Facebook, the first thing I was going to ask is, are you, are you doing the Google thing and, and, and looking at down that route? Because apparently this is where it's all going now, isn't it? Where it's, it's targeted and it's not something people are necessarily thinking about or, is targeting areas, etc. I am struggling to wrap my head around it all, but I know I'm going to have to do an auto trader if I could bin them off. Oh, that's the biggest expense for most people, isn't it? I mean, I must be paying five grand a month to them, maybe it, it, uh, for something like that. You know what annoys me with them? Um, the, the, I mean, let's face it, it is the place that people go to if they are purposefully going to look for a car, they're going to use auto trader. Um, but the thing that, that annoys me most about AutoTrader is there is no rhyme or reason for why we have an influx of inquiries on cars. And I know, I just know it is controlled by them 100%. So we'll have a car on for three or four months. You don't open a door on it. You don't get a call on it. And in a week, you get seven calls. Yeah. It's not chance, is it? Yeah, and, we, and uh, it? yeah, we have exactly the same thing. You're like, why has that car all of a sudden got so popular? And yeah. we're just thinking about cutting the bollocks off of it and, you know, selling it off cheap or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't. I know there must be like they feature it or it whatever, and it may be a passive thing, but either way, it's still happening. Get out of the matrix. Let's have a party. We'll do it all together. <laughs> we can yeah, have we'll an have online a Xbox a... drinking party. And yeah, have a hell of a bend on all the money we've saved. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. the other thing is, I do love Auto Trader because I love all the data, the insights, and all that sort of stuff. So I feel like I would, to dip my toe, I'd still have like a little five car package or something, just so I could still it's, it's retail fed. rating and stuff. It's fed for you. It's like it's like yeah. cat for you. They know that you're data driven. I love the data, the numbers, all of that sort of stuff, and I know that there's people in. I I I know this for a fact. There are people in Auto Trader Trader that they wait until you stop seeing results. They then push you forward again, and they basically try and hook you in. As you're about to come to the end of your term, they hook you in again. They know exactly what they're doing, how they're doing it. They've been doing it a very, very long time, and they are excellent at what they do. Fair play to that, but I don't want to be a part of it. And I made that choice, and it was the best decision I've ever made. I worked out now I would have spent just shy of £940,000 with them if I would if I was still – if I carried on what yeah. i was doing yeah yeah yeah. and instead you put a million quid into million quid into race cars instead great man <laughs> yeah. thank you a massive, I, for funding james's yeah. racing career there's a lot more out there that are more honest um and i you know I, I don't want to sit here and slate them but it's a it's a machine they've got it working very well as a motor trader you basically work for auto trader if you don't get off that mm. You know, if yeah, you think they, about they've 7, done very, they have, they've done a very obviously they're the most expensive out there by a country mile. You know, like I say, I think it works out something like hundred, if not a bit more, car per month. You know, and that's most most traders' biggest expense. I'm sure it's about four grand, maybe four and a half for me every month. Um, but they've done a very good job of making you feel like you need them. You know, yeah. 
I mean, I've cut eBay Motors Group, and that's who I started with. And to be fair, for two or three years, of my, I never had Auto Trader because I just thought it's too expensive. I can't afford it. And I'd stuck with eBay Motors Group. And they would, well, it was eBay and Gumtree at that point. And I think they used to do Facebook at, in it at one point. Um, and what else? I don't even think I used the free car guru thing. I might have stuck some stuff on Facebook Marketplace, but that was a nightmare. But still, it worked, but it was a nightmare for the thingies. So it's so stupid, isn't it? Because I should know that I don't need it because I succeeded long before I ever had Auto Trader. You're there saying it's the best thing you've ever done. And me and Rob are both still sat there like, mm, I'd love to, but it sounds great, but I don't know. Scary. Yeah, it's been a real delight for me. It reduces my overheads. It allowed me to employ two extra members of staff. Yeah. Okay, which gave me more time, which sounds like what well, something that you really need to do is to take to be able to step out a little bit more. Um, and it, you know, I, I gained this, I, I got the same results and I just wasn't, I just wasn't paying for it. And I, I didn't like, because, sorry, I'm talking over you, but carry on. No, so I just, I didn't like, I didn't like the way the reps worked. It's like, oh, we're going to sign you up for this. This is a new offer. It's not, it's shit. You've worded it differently. You know, we're going to give you one superstar car. What does the superstar car I do? do? Hate, I do hate the way it's like you get five cars and then you get your two for free and then you get your two cheapies it's like yeah. and then off you, then you seven. Up and it's just like how much is it for 30 cars please just well if you want just 30 then you'd have to have 25 plus you get your three then you get it's like what <laughs> it's almost like they deliberately make it complicated i've got but, nigel uh, fry like in you my say, head you had boring, a, you had a, boring. <laughs> yeah you made a really good point there of saying you know with your auto trader bill you can employ more people Say, how much do you pay a month on Auto Trader, Rob? It's surprising, a couple of grand, not too bad. Grand. Okay, so you haven't got that that many on there. But for me, say it's four grand. Say I've been that off and I put a couple of grand or whatever into employing someone for however much time it takes, probably be less than that because it wouldn't need to be full time. And they did the Facebook adverts, you know, they listed them out because that is the downside of doing things on Facebook. It's not, unless you set a little system up, it's not as easy as Auto Trader just input the reg and it fills out the information and all that sort of stuff you have to write a little spiel out and do your emojis and whatever but i'm sure you've got a template um so it's not as easy but if you employed someone you'd still be quids in and it would still be getting done so yeah, well, yeah what's the first... bit to yourself there <laughs> i know i know that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying yeah so what's the first steps james what how are we getting out of this this mess that we're in what were we doing bring them up and go cancel my account <laughs> But, um, how much did that cost you to sit right like to quickly do a video walk around and put it on the internet bugger all just your time just yeah. a little bit of time yeah. yeah and how much would a water trailer cost charged you six thousand nine hundred and forty eight pounds <laughs> and they would have made sure there was a little graph next to it as well going expensive yeah, yeah. and they'll offer the customer nine thousand six hundred pounds more than what their part exchange is worth that's the other thing that they do as well can't yeah. i can't deal with it i cannot deal with it no, fair enough. Give me a lot to think about on this episode. Yeah, and I, and I think you, with the data and auto, just just to put my last sort of two pence on here or whatever it is, you know, when they're showing how well it's performing on Auto Trader, that is the one thing that grinds my gears the most because I had this argument with them at the back end of last year because I was on Ultra Package or whatever, and I was speaking to Jess or whatever her name was and saying, look, I want to reduce the package, and and her argument was, yes, but look how well it's performing. And my response was, Jess, it might well look like it's performing well, but they're still effing sat here, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, and also your so, stuff yeah. as well, your stuff, it's like, well, it's going to perform well because everyone wants to look at a Ferrari 360 and dream oh. about it. Everyone wants to look at a Lotus Amira. Exactly. Um, Buy it. Yeah. They're going to look at it. That might say that it's performing well, but yeah, they can't argue that it's performing well. It's still here, so it can't have performed that well. Yeah. There we are. We'll never get anyone from Auto Trader on this podcast now. So thanks for that, James. You should. You should. I reckon you you should try it. That's not that's not going to hurt. Like no one would be uncivil, but I'd love to hear what their perspective of it is because yeah. they might, you know, they they might know something that we don't because I don't know everything. All I can tell you is from my experience that I've had because I was with Auto Trader for eleven years prior to that, and I I have only felt freedom since I've left there. Yeah. So. I, I, you know, it, 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 I don't think it would do the world of bad, and the chances are they'd probably want to say something about it as well, yeah. you know. But just an idea. 
Yeah, yeah.